To create an EC2 instance in Amazon AWS, first go to console.aws.amazon.com. I'll have this link in the description below. Hit enter and you'll be taken to your console. Now, in my case, recently visited shows EC2. EC2. In your case, it might not be shown. So what you can do is just search for EC2. And here you will see EC2 virtual servers in the cloud. Now, click on this EC2 and you'll see a bunch of options. Right now, I'm seeing this Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud 2 with this launch instance thing. But it is uh, it might not be visible when you check this out because it was not visible a few weeks ago. So what you can do is just click on Instances and this will show you your current running instance. If you don't have any instance, this will be empty. Now you can just click on Launch Instances. And here you get to create your instance. So let's just give a name to your instance. Let's call it uh, my test server. Now you get to choose which OS you want in your server. So do you want Amazon's own Amazon line Linux or do you want Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat or whatever? I'll just choose Ubuntu. Once you have chosen your OS, you can scroll down and choose the architecture. And here by default, t2.micro will be selected so if you have not created any instance before you'll be available for free tier it has one v cpu one gb ram and it's very tiny it's just for test purposes or tutorials i highly doubt you're going to get anything done in this instance and now you can create your key pair but i'm going to keep it simple and i'm not going to do this and here you get to choose your network settings you can create security groups and so on again we're not going to go into this too because we're just going to create a simple ec2 with default settings and make sure you allow ssh traffic so this is how you log into the server if you uncheck this you'll have to come in here again then create security groups and allow ssh traffic so you can log into the server okay now you can configure the storage you can increase the storage to how much ever you want but if you want to free but if you want free tier you can see this notice here get up to 30 gb of free storage so i'll just leave it at default okay so once we have done this we can just click on launch instance and this instance will be created okay so now what we have done is we have configured the instance but we have not specified a way to log into it so basically we cannot access or we cannot get inside the instance so how can you do that so you can just Choose an existing key pair. I'll show you how you can log in using this in just a second. Now, if you do this, you'll not be able to log in. So I'll just create a new key pair. You can just call this one test key. Okay, and now you can just click on launch instance. I'll show you how to use this key to log in in just a second. And this thing will be downloaded, right? testkey.pem is downloaded and once the instance is created let's see how we can log into it okay now go back to your instances and here you'll see two instances now okay this one is initializing and this is the ip address so let's copy the ip address okay and it's still initializing let's see if it is up or not to, to, to check that you can just open your command prompt or terminal and ping IP address hit enter and right now we're not getting any response from the server so it means that the server is not up yet so let's wait a few minutes till this is complete okay so it took three or four minutes and our server is finally running now if you want to check the ping this time you should get a response from the server okay we are not getting any response yet let's just directly try to log in or did i copy the wrong IP address no, it's not it's the same ip address so now we had downloaded the key right so how can we use this so we have the key now what you can do is open command prompt in this directory that is inside downloads wherever we have our key now you can actually log in from anywhere but you will have to enter the full path of the key if you're not in this directory so that's why i have open terminal or command prompt in this directory now what you can do is ssh i and then your key name that is testkey.pem and then root at the rate your IP address hit enter type yours hit enter again okay now it is giving us the warning please log in as the user Ubuntu rather than the user root 
so just press ctrl c and now instead of root type ubuntu hit enter and now we will be inside the server as you can see we are inside the server so now you've seen how you can create an ecw ec2 instance and how you can log in to the server if you have any questions let me know in the comments below